anyway, so we're online. We're doing some co-op campaign again because, I mean, some people seem to enjoy it last time. I thought it was really, really cool. Um, now, my only thing is that I don't know how to change the difficulty because last time when we did stuff, it seemed like it was super easy to go and do everything. But for today's episode, I'm hoping that it's a little bit harder. Now, what I wanted to do today was I wanted to do a little, like, uh, JDM versus muscle uh, challenge. So, like, import versus muscle. And I wanted to go set up, like, a custom championship somewhere. So, you're going to need to choose either, like, a JDM car or uh, an import or an, imp an import car or a muscle car. And you're going to have to do everything with it. So, like, I'm going to go set up a blueprint on this race right here. Do a couple of races around here. And then, I guess we're gonna have to go build cars first, I guess. Alright, uh, championship. Let's championship blueprint up our own event. Now, we can do AMG versus M Sport. That's not what I want. I would like to do Evo versus Impreza. Now, I really want Muscle versus JDM. Iconic movie cars? No way there's a thing for that. Advanced car restrictions. So, can I, like, add or remove? <gasps> That's really cool. Okay, so I want... Twitch chat, I need the most famous American muscle cars. I want new and old. All right, let's just choose some routes around. Uh, now I've got three events selected, apparently. Oh, and they were all off-road. I don't want to do off-road races, so... Okay, we've got one off-road race right here. Then we could head over here. Now that finishes up in the jungle. Is there one that finishes on, like, the outskirts of the city? There, that one. That one's good. Yep, good. Maybe we head all the way over here. Yeah, do that race. It's an off-road race. And then we'll go into Surface Paradise and finish it up with a final race. All the way over here. Brilliant. I guess for this first race, we won't pick anything or we won't build a car, but we can come in after and build something. Or you know what? Maybe I might try to make it a thing to change cars every, every race we do. Now, I don't know what I want. Oh, we should have totally limited it to a class. Because now I've got, like, my S2... GTR Black Edition is by far the fastest car I have. What if I go with something like A-Class? This is an off-road race, so I'll take something off- All-wheel drive. I'll take something A-Class. All-wheel drive Skyline. I mean, I'm not really sure how we're gonna determine which one does better, but, eh, whatever. Alright, so what have the majority of people taken? I see, I guess actually a pretty good mix of anything. Us all have- Oh, it's me and Alan in GT- Alan's taken an S1 car. Brilliant. Good job, Alan. And Big Jid has gone with the American Muscle. He's taking a good old Ford Mustang, wherever he is. But I do have all-wheel drive, so I'm hoping this does kind of well. Now, like I was saying before, I don't know how to set a difficulty for these events. All right, thank you, GTR, for spinning out right in front of me and stopping. That's gone well. What is going on with this lobby? It's, like, very laggy. Anyways, what team am I on? I'm on blue team. Oh, we're winning! Blue team's winning! Yeah, just, but yeah. I think I missed the checkpoint. Did I miss the checkpoint? I missed the checkpoint. No paint car, boys. Yeah, it's the no paint car. If you want to learn how to do this, I didn't think episode 35, I think. Oh my god, I'm in last place. But yeah, I, I, I made this car in episode 35. It's a pretty cool method um, to go and paint your cars with no paint, essentially, is what you're doing. But uh, yeah, it comes out looking like this. It's not perfect. But it's, it's pretty cool. It looks different, which which I like. Now, Alan's all the way up in, I believe, first place. Yeah, Alan's all the way in first place. He's got 950 points racked up right now. But as I'm all the way back here, I am letting our team down. I have zero points. I need to get in front of some of these guys, start getting some points in, so we don't get absolutely crushed. Right now, we're losing by, like, double. That's really not good. Alan, just please hold your first position as much as possible. It's all because I missed that checkpoint, man. I missed that checkpoint and it screwed me. Now, if I pass this guy, this is going to give us 100 points and take 100 points away from them. There we go. That's looking good. I've got 200 points now. Yeah, sweet. And I've got a bunch of guys here I can pass. Now, I know they slow up a lot right here. Oh, there goes the GTR up in the air. That's past the GTR. Yes, we're within 50 points. Oh, yes. Okay, come on. Up the inside on the four, on the, on the Shelby. And I've binned it. I've binned it. I've just binned it. I've lost it. Get back on. Get back on. Yep, people have passed me. The Shelby's passed me, and the Infinity's passed me. That's the Eau Rouge. And we are down. But I have a couple of corners left. Alan is still holding first position well. 
Oh, yes. Oh, we've just taken the lead. Oh, I'm two wheeling it. Oh, God. Oh, God, man. <laughs> this is stressful. Oh, yes. We've taken the lead now by 400 points. Oh, get the Shelby. Get the Shelby. Every single point matters because they carry over to the next race. It's going to be a drag race. Oh, that Shelby's got so much power. Whew. Oh, that Shelby's got so much power. <sighs> Wish it was actually Muscles versus Imports teams. I know, that's the really annoying thing. Like, I wish you could set it up even more than that. But I mean, I, we're just limited to muscle and import cars. Like, the blueprint thing in Forza Horizon 3 is really awesome. But there's definitely some improvements that can be made for it. For instance, being like, Team 1, you have to take these types of cars. Team 2, you have to take these types of cars. I feel like stuff like that would be really awesome. And as well, limiting it to, like, um... Like putting generalizations in, so making people take reasonably priced JDM cars, for instance. I feel like that'd be really cool. I almost dropped off down all the way there. That would have been bad. Let's do this one. So this is the something something sprint. Now what should I take for this one? One of the things that I built in an episode and used for all of five seconds was this Hellcat. And I mean, we're on the road, I think. All right, so what are people going with again? Alan is taking the same GTR. I'm taking a Challenger. Big Jin's a Nissan. And I missed the last guy. I think it's Sean. We'll, we'll, we'll spot Sean in the way somewhere. We gonna beat Sean. Sean is in... Where is Sean? Oh, Sean's all the way back in 11th place. Okay, not anymore. I thought I banned all the Vipers. He just went flying in front of a Viper. That thing was stupid fast. Yeah, burnouts for days when you're in a Liberty Walk Challenger Hellcat. The thing's only kind of powerful and kind of heavy. All of that, all that power going to those rear wheels. It's going to do a couple of burnouts. But I mean, how many points did I get in the first race? I think the first race I got like 400 or 300 points. So I'm going to say Team Import has 300 points now. We'll see how I can do here. Right now I've got 200. Make that 100 back to 200. I feel like back to 100. I feel like the Old Spice guy. All right, and I'm back to last place. This is going well. I'm halfway through the race, and I'm in last place. This is really, really not going well. I need to get the hammer down and actually start pushing. I mean, I am pushing. It's just the Challenger is not really in the same sort of league as a Viper, or I don't even know what everyone else is in, but it's not really in the same league as them. Also, we're losing. We're totally lo- Big Jin missed a checkpoint. Now we're really losing. They're just too fast. We've only got 20% of the race to go. And I still can't catch up. There's Alan in his S1 GTR. There was Alan in his S1 GTR. Look at that. We're like, not doing well. It's not good. <laughs> yep, so that went real well for the muscle cars. <laughs> we didn't do so well. Yep, that's 10th uh, place. Good. Good. So the Dodge Viper is the only thing that did well. And uh, the rest of us shit ourselves. That's good. Blue team. Big 700 points. Yeah, we're losing now by over 1,000 points. We got to step this up. We totally got to step this up. But I think the thing is, is for us four to be taking cars that are relatively same... Uh, or relatively, like, similar speed and whatnot. Nick, next time take your S2 cars. I'm gonna take an S2 car for the next race and see how that goes. But I just know that everyone needs to take the same sort of class of cars or else everyone's way too fast and upgraded. And it just makes it impossible for the people in the slower cars to keep up. Which is what just happened right there. We said S2 cars for this one. Do I even have an S2? Ooh, I do. Oh, my black edition. <laughs> Alright, let's take that. That GTR should be unbelievably quick. And this is the last time I can take import, I guess. I mean, we've just taken... We've just taken GTRs. It's kind of frustrating. Am I getting Watch Dogs 2? No. I also don't have a series up for it on this YouTube channel called, like, youtube.com forward slash... Is it AR12Gaming? Let's see what people have taken this time. Hopefully we're on team import now. And there's not going to be an X-Class car. Good. Everyone's an S2 class. We've got a Dodge Viper. Uh, GTR, GTR, GTR. Well, boy, we're creative people, aren't we? We've just taken GTRs for every single event. Remember when this was supposed to be import versus muscle? 
All right, well, I've started Deadstone last. Goodbye, Alan. All right, let's see if I can sort of make up for last race and do a little bit better here. Here's that Viper, that one last race. Jesus Christ, this this GTR is fast. Drop a, drop a gear, disappear. I am a motorbike now. Here we go. How are we not winning? We have, like, first and third place. Oh, we'll make that rip. We have first place. <laughs> I'm winning a race. Online, too. Feels good, man. Feels real good. Chuck it around there. A little bit of handbrake around there. Alrighty. I feel like the AI are much more difficult while doing co-op campaigns. I don't know why. But it feels like they're definitely harder than I'm used to. Anyways, uh, currently, blue team getting smashed. And I couldn't tell you why. But... It might have something to do with Alan being in last place. I shouldn't talk, considering I was in last place. Every single other race. But, hmm. All right, check it around there. Good, 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 good. Halfway through this race already, and I'm still in first position. So many twisties on this, on this pass. It's unbelievable. All right, another little reverse. Cut the corner a bit. Good, 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 good. All right, here we go. That's That was a good little run down the side of the mountain. Oh my god, we're still going down. Okay. How far? Oh my. I was like, how far is the guy gonna be behind? Nope, he's right there and he just went and overtook me immediately. Alright, at least I got my position back. 25% of this race to go now. We've just gotta watch out for that bright orange GTR, which seems to have disappeared. Now, I don't know what the hell is wrong with my team, but I think they're all in dead stone last. I'm the only one with points on my team, I think. Come on, and there we go. And nearly across the line. First place. There we go. I think I... I think I sort of did pretty well there. I bettered myself. I made up for my poor uh, show last race. But the rest of the team... Not, not so well. Uh, so where's this final race? Oh yeah, it's in Surface Paradise. All the way... It was just outside Surface Paradise. But we have to drive through Surface Paradise. Shh. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, when you get into a drift zone, and you're in a JDM car, you're in an import, you do this. Just saying. Oh, no! I screwed up. There we go. 100,000 points. I mean, that wasn't a poor run. Speaking of... Did you guys see that? Did you see that? The guy flew off the bridge! We just bullied that guy so hard! Oh, Raymond, you know the other thing that we only just found out? You know that video that we did where we went and found the source of the River Forza? Uh, apparently we didn't. Apparently we went to the totally wrong place. Um, because we're stupid. So, yeah. Now, that is not the answer. That was far too slow. Maybe I could go with a Shelby. GT350R, that'd be fast. Or I can go with a Viper. But I don't really want to go with a Viper. I feel like the Viper... No, 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 no. I'm gonna go with an S1 Shelby GT350R. It should be good. All right, so what are people in? Dodge Viper, God damn it. Ford GT350R. Big Jids in the Mustang, and we still have that S2 Viper. So I'm screwed. I'm gonna come last. I'm totally coming last. Like, there goes that GTR all-wheel drive launch. There's Big Jid in the GTR, once again, all-wheel drive launch. And here's me, just in ninth place, minding my own business. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> what the hell was that? There's an actual traffic jam in Forza Horizon 3. What the hell just happened? All right, well, bye, GTR. Mustang piss off. Keep the power in in the Mustang. That GTR got a lot of air. Yo, look at that corner. So much better than the import. Who says muscle can't take corners? That's past an S2 GTR. Holy shit. I'm doing well. Everyone else is in S2 car. Big Jid, we're on the same bloody team. We need 3,000 points here as well if we want to win this. Just saying. This Mustang sounds incredible. I'll have a good V8. Especially one of these. I've heard it wasn't the GT350R. It was the Mustang GT350, though, I think. And the thing sounds so good in real life. That thing is loud as F. It, 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 I was I was impressed. Thoroughly impressed with the new Mustang. It could be a lot worse. 
but considering I'm racing things that are just out of my category entirely, I mean, this is a pretty good show. I would imagine these guys are not in my category, but the Mustang is doing pretty well. Now, overall, right now, I can't determine which one's better, Mustang or Import or Muscle, but I don't know, man. It's up to you. Keep it in. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I mean, the GTR got us the win. But the muscle cars were, like, handicapped almost. That's not gone well. 8,600 points to 3,900 points. Alan's like, lower the difficulty. No, Alan. Hardest difficulty all the time. Every day, all the time. Nick, do I have a dog? I do have a dog. And I saw someone else ask, when are F1 videos coming? F1 2016 videos? Uh, this weekend. Hey, 200,000 monies. It's not bad. <laughs> that was my dog after a very long, cold walk. Uh, a cold, long walk. And drink from the faucet.